What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this next example, what we gotta do is we gotta list all the subsets of this set here. So set U contains the elements A, B, and C, and we have to list all the subsets using a tree. So that's gonna be the first step. And then once we have that, we can use that tree to answer these questions. How many subsets does U have? How many subsets contain the elements A and B? How many subsets contain the elements A or B? How many subsets contain more than one element? And then how many subsets contain exactly two elements? So I'm actually gonna erase these questions and I'm going to draw the tree here, give myself some room. By the way, these questions, they're listed in a PDF file on the website. They're at the beginning of the section. If you're on YouTube, you can just go to the description box, click the link, and it will take you to that PDF file. So what are the subsets of this gonna be? We gotta show it using a tree. Now, first off, there's three elements in this, uh, in this uh, set U, but subsets can have all three elements. So ABC is gonna be a subset of this, but it could also have less than three elements. So for example, the set A is a subset of this, this element is there, but also AB is a subset of this, or C, also the null set, which is no elements, is part of that as well. It's a subset of this. The null set is a subset of any set. So how can we show all of these different combinations? Well, what we can do, so we could start here, and this first branch here on the tree, we can ask ourselves, is the element A going to be in the subset? Now, there's only two possibilities. Either yes, it's gonna be there, or no, it's not gonna be there. And then for the second branch, we can ask, is B going to be in the subset? Either yes or no, yes or no. And then finally, C, same thing, two possibilities, is C going to be there? Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. And so the way this is all gonna look Notice that this combination, yes, 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 meaning all three are there, so A, B, C. So it's actually just that original set that we're working with. The next branch, yes for A, yes for B, no for C, so that's gonna be just A and B. And then we're gonna have A and C for this one, no B. Then we're gonna have just A for this one, right? No B or no C. Then we're gonna have no A, we're gonna have a B and a C. Uh, here we're just gonna have a B. And then here we're just gonna have a C. And then here, no, 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 no elements. So that's just gonna be the null set, like that. Right, so those are all the different subsets that you can have with these three elements here. And so that's how you do it. The first branch would be, is that first element gonna be there, yes or no? Second, yes or no? Third, yes or no? And you just keep going for however many elements you have. And so notice that it's always two decisions. Each branch is two. The number of branches isn't changing. And so, there's two ways to get, number one, the total, L, the total subsets that this set would have. You could count them. If you count them, notice there's eight. That's the answer. Another way you could have got that is just going two to the power of three. Because it's either yes or no, yes or no, two times two times two. The three here represents how many elements there are. So if there was five elements, the tree would be a lot larger. So it might be a pain to draw, but if you wanted to get the total amount of subsets that A, B, C, D, E would have, it'd be two to the power of five, which would be 32. 
This, that's the first thing I want to mention, that for number one, you can get it quickly algebraically, but uh, they did ask us to make a tree diagram. And this is how it looks, and then these are the results. Now, number two asks how many subsets contain A and B. So we can go through these, contain both A and B, both elements, this one, this one, and then no other ones contain both of them. This one contains A, this one A, this one B, but just individually. But for both of them, it's only these two up here. And so the answer for number two is two. Now for number three, they ask how many subsets contain A or B. So it doesn't have to be both of them. This one contains both. This one contains both. This one contains one of them. So that would be um, one of the subsets that we would count for number three. This one, this one, this one, uh, and that's all. So basically six would be the answer for number three. Another way we could have done it is we could look at all of the subsets that contain neither A or B, and it would be these two, the null set and this set that only contains C. And we could have did eight, the total, minus those two to get that six. So multiple different ways we can go about it. Number four asks how many subsets contain more than one element. So basically in this case, we're dealing with only three elements. So you could either have zero elements, one element, two elements, or three elements. So more than one would be either two elements or three elements, so we could count all of them. One, two, three, four. So it would be four. That's what the answer to number four would be, right? There are four subsets that contain more than one element or that contain two elements and three elements. That's another way it could have been worded. So in this particular question with three elements, that question could have been more than one element or how many subsets contain exactly two elements and three elements. And then finally, number five, it asks how many subsets contain exactly two elements. And so we would just count them one, two, three. Three of them contain exactly two elements. Right, so if you get a question like this where you gotta list the subsets of a set using a tree diagram, it's gonna be yes or no for each element and then you can list the subsets and then whatever question, make sure you're reading the question very carefully, the wording, whether they're using and or 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 more than, less than, or more or uh, greater than or equal to. So that one where they said um, more than one element, they could have also said more than or equal to two elements, greater than or equal to two elements. That would have been the same thing. So just be careful with the wording, but once you get the wording down, you can just look at the subsets that you listed out.